dokie welcome to another fantastic lightning strikes twice twice super fast hyper condensed version of our longer lightning rounds we have one topic a piece nobody one topic knows a piece. yep nobody knows the other topic and we got five minutes to discuss so casey it is on to you mm-hmm. all right now i don't know how to categorize this um maybe science maybe philosophy We'll see. The, the uh, twain do occasionally converge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is one out of seven the same as eight out of 56? Oh, oh man. You know, what, like six of one, half a dozen of another? That well, kind of thing? Yeah. I mean, like mathematically, of course, fractions can reduce and it makes sense in like rulers and stuff like that. Like, you know, tangible things like fractioning an inch or whatever but i'm i'm talking more about like polling the nation or something you know like if if you ask 56 people and eight of them say oh yeah i contracted this disease or whatever and then you reduce that to one out of seven is it really the same like if you take seven people and put them in a room are they is one of them going to get the disease that's Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Statistically speaking. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, eh. like, I kind of wonder if it's disingenuous to be reducing fractions in statistics. Uh, well, uh, can I begin by saying I fucking hate fractions? Uh, I which fucking is hate why... statistics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I like metric makes a lot more sense. Decimalization, like I, I have a, a, a non-metric tape measure that is decimalized and doesn't have fractions. Um I, but but I yeah I mean I don't know if you can take a small sample and represent a larger like it, I don't know that that those things are necessarily equivalent. Um, I mean yeah, I mean there's all these like little statistic things like uh, confidence intervals and you know a room for error and all that of course but. It just well, it, in the that's, in the that's, general sense, you know. But, like, but that's for like statistics nerds. Yeah, you, like the headlines and the stuff. The, like the general public doesn't think in those terms. So right. so it is kind of yeah. It is it is misleading to uh, speak in those terms because um, you know like oh whatever I, I you know you, you always see the the numbers and stuff like that and and. and man i don't know I, well because well, here's what i'm thinking when when it comes to like polling people about things there's a whole lot of different factors that are going into that you mm-hmm. know whether yeah. it's contracting a, a disease or voting for a particular person you know like it, you can't tell that much from just like a yes or no on something and then extrapolate out to the whole nation um yeah well yeah exactly because the, well the thing is there's even with just the u.s let's take just the u.s there's a big difference between hawaii alaska and alabama right they're all or california or something like numbers that apply to say a place like california don't necessarily translate to a place like alaska or hawaii or florida or Puerto Rico. And yes, Puerto Rico is a fucking state. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it needs to be. But I mean, but like th- they're they're different places. Like I, but it, it it's misleading, I think. Yeah. I think because it here's why it 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 builds this kind of uh misconception of probabilities. Mm-hmm. Um if you say one out of seven then the automatic assumption is any seven people, one of them will be this thing, right? Yep. Yeah. When That's what I'm saying about the headlines. And like stuff. if it's a disease or something, you know, like you might be scaring the shit out of people when really like if you, if you said like out of 56 people in a room, eight might have something, then you're thinking like, well, that's, that's not so bad. You know, even though, st- you know, fraction wise, that might be the same, the actual odds of that, like it could be eight people that were all hanging out before and, you know, they got sick at Sherry's or something and then came into this room, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you like different 
areas or regions or cultures or whatever, like it, they don't necessarily translate one for one. Yeah. And a lot of these polls aren't really all that randomized. I should no, no. Well, and I actually, you know, speaking of polls, like if you're talking like politics, it's like, well, you know, it's not like they're sitting out there with a clipboard catching people walking by randomly. No, it's the people who elect to engage with these polls. And right. well, those are th- those are going to be very different people from everybody. Like it, it's it, it and, and so uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. I mean, you know, statistics are great for probabilistic analysis, just like Wikipedia is great for kind of just getting a general sense of information. And that's what it is. It it isn't factual, like you're saying. Like one out of seven people. Okay, we'll take any seven people. And one of them is going to be this way. Nope, actually, it probably won't be. <laughs> even yeah. even with those odds, it yeah, it, it's uh, man. People, what, people what might they... be wondering why I said one out of seven and eight out of fifty six. Well, I was I was reading an article. Oh, oh c- c- finish your sentence. Yeah. You're and, reading and, an article, and and it was like I can't even remember what I was reading it about. But like eight people out of the fifty six test subjects it was some disease uh contracted this so it's a one out of seven chance that, that you'll get this and i'm like whoa, 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 wait 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 a minute like <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah yeah that, that what, well, well, what else was up with these eight people you know <laughs> uh well that's the thing is you need more information it, it it can't be things can't be condensed down to just a simple number mm-hmm. there's a lot more going on behind the scenes that completes the story essentially oh so i guess it's on to me then um well i guess mine's kind of a philosophical topic and you know with a lot of the goings on lately and people and stuff and whatnot i'm thinking if you knew you were dying how would you want to go out? Um, oh, that, that's a hard one. Um, in a blaze of glory. I, uh, it's mine too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I, I like, sorry, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Like, like, honestly, like if, if, uh, if we're talking about like, I know I'm dying of something and I'd want to choose how I die instead of that. That's what I'm, uh, yeah, that's the point. Like, do you want to yeah. be in a bed with a bunch of people weeping around you? or do you Not like, to- like, oh, well, if I could have my choice, I would just die in my sleep. But no, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, no, I, I would, I would actually hope to come across, you know, somebody like in a burning house or something and, you know, do my best to save them and, and all their memorabilia and shit. And, you know, if I burn up, I burn up, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, I've thought like, okay, well, if, if I had some kind of if, if situation like that, I do my best to hijack a fighter jet and <laughs> have some fun. And, you know, so it's like, you know, you, you know about sky King, right? Yeah. Yeah, he he stole. It, he was like a he was in I think SeaTac Airport or something like that, and stole like a normal plane. Right? Stole like, plane and then flew it around and intentionally crashed, choosing a place where there weren't people. Um, and many, not many. <laughs> no, no. But the thing is, like nobody knew his name until he did that, and there are professional pilots who said. That plane cannot do the things he did, and he was not—he was not a pilot. He, you know, he didn't go through any kind of training. He just grabbed that plane and took off and flew it around, uh, you know, around the Seattle area and stuff like that. And now he's immortalized. It's like, dude, what a badass way to go out! <laughs> that is so cool. And you know, if you gotta go. I, that's how I would want to go. 
yeah. in some kind of memorable way where it's like now you're you're like everybody is like holy shit that would be the best way to go mm. i feel like i have to qualify my answer a little bit not that anyone thinks if oh i had like a terminal disease i'd go set somebody's house on fire and then save <laughs> them you know <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that makes sense like if i came across a burning house then, yeah then I... yeah exactly <laughs> yeah because like the the last thing i i don't what a sad way to go to be in a bed and just kind of you know your family members find you days later or something or you're in a hospital and hooked up to a bunch of machinery and and you just you know go out that way like that just that would suck. Mm. That would suck. It, it I, I'd want it to be something memorable. That, that I don't know. Yeah. Like ah, uh, it. it oof, I don't know. I've been thinking about mortality a lot lately, and, and, and you know, and, and and it's like I don't know. Uh, it just yeah. And yeah, both my parents were alone. Which and I, that dude I feel that's, really bad about like, that really sucks. Yeah. I mean, but, at least uh, if, if you're going to go out in the, in the, you know, being in a hospital or whatever kind of way, at least have like a few people around you so they can be with you a, as you pass. Yeah. Um, oh, man. I don't what know. a downer. Jeez. I, geez, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but, I, I, you know, I, I don't think, I don't know. I don't see, I, yeah, yeah, it's. I mean, I, I wish, you remember that Star Trek, the Next Generation episode, um, I think it was called Half a Life or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Maybe, maybe I got the title wrong, but it, it had the dude oh. from MASH and. When yeah. he turned 70, he had to. W wasn't kill it too short a season, or is that a. I know that was a different one. Yeah, I can't remember. I yeah, need to watch more it. Star Trek. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it was part of their culture to like commit suicide at age 70. So that mm -hmm. they're not like a drag on society and you don't have to like worry about finding them dead and blah, blah, blah. You, know, you and, basically and, and have in, the funeral with them and then they go do yep. it. And in their culture, it was seen as sort of a positive thing. Mm -hmm. like family participated and everything. And, you know, maybe that there's some merit to that. I I, I don't know about suicide. Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, <laughs> dude, that... Okay, that should actually be a whole episode, honestly. The, the last line, I don't know about suicide. Like, <laughs> that's kind of perfect. I know. Like if you took the first five seconds and the last five seconds, mm how -hmm. do you want to go? I don't know about suicide. <laughs> well, if we had intros to uh, intro clips to <laughs> Lightning Strikes Twice, that's what I would do. Uh oh, <laughs> I hear Floyd down there. He's uh, protesting. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that. Damn that. Yeah, sorry, sorry everybody if if it's kind of a downer. Um, but I don't know. I don't I I don't know. I don't see it as being it's it's a part of life. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And eight out of fifty-six of us probably won't get to choose how we die. 